Hello, Yay! hello! You can see nothing because I didn't open Discord! There we go, now you can see things. <laughs> welcome, welcome, <laughs> one all, to The Great Tales of the Tower of the Mad Lich, Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. I can only say that once because this is the only Part 2. But as <laughs> always, we have... Everyone can introduce your own self at whatever order you want to. Oh, I have to reorganize all everyone's yeah, names. Yeah, Everyone moved around. <laughs> Hold on. You, you're gonna go there. You gotta go there. Because everyone changed their name to the characters, so now all the the uh, boxes moved here. Wasn't so, you expecting that? Well, that's what we're supposed kind to of. Do. Yeah. So there we. Now it's all good. So, Raygun and Nicole, you may introduce yourself first, and then we'll go Bethany, Phil, and Art. Hey, I am Ada, uh, the Tabaxi Druid. I, uh, I think the last, the last I spoke is I had to give up one of my love, one of my little love plants to get to the next level. And uh, yeah, I think that's go, Paula. Fantastic. I'm Apollo, a dragonborn monk. I had to give my cloak up the last we had spoken to everybody. That's it for me. Let's my see. name's Jocelyn, and I had to give up one <laughs> of my letters from one of my precious babies to get to the the new sec sector of our adventure. I love how you have like a phalanger on your voice there. I died. I just I feel like I sounded like I was from the south at that point. <laughs> That's it. She's from the south now. <laughs> it is official. You are from the south. Just Harry. <laughs> well, I'm just Harry. And yeah, I'm here because uh, of my addiction with fireballs. So, uh, yeah. And, I, and yeah, I gave up a letter. Some important letter. A very but important that, letter. That's, that's, that's confidential. I can't Pretty tell good. you guys. I'm, I'm not sure if you remember me, but I'm Yato. I gave up my mother's pendant, my last memory of her, other than if I visit her again. I'm here to make money to hopefully support my family. Indeed. Love all in the introductions, like, yeah, I, I gave up this. I lost this. Very touching. Speaking of that, what else happened last week besides giving up several items? Ralph! Well, I met. I totally told somebody that I needed the bathroom and I may have lied to them, but. Whoops! <laughs> Now a bunch of people are dead. Ada and Tangles and Skeletons. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm gonna tangle, tangle some skeletons. And then, uh, we took some, me, Apollo, and Yato took some bee damage. Oh, yeah. Not the bees. And I killed them all. Yeah, and not just the men, was, but the women and the children too. So don't think I forgot about that. I like fireballs. <laughs> you sure? You do? have a problem, yeah. just Harry. We'll get that out of you in no time. Yeah, Harry. I, I think you are part of the fireballs, not at us. I'm fine with you using as many as you want. All right, indeed, that was okay. about what happened last week. And you entered this room after you left the uh, Undead Beholder room after giving up some of your prized possessions. You walk into this room after opening the stone door, still seeing the room is just still very kind of dark and dimly lit. But it's kind of open. Uh, it is, the darkness is sent away by your, the light of your torch that I believe Yanto is still holding. In addition to that, <laughs> in addition to that you kind of walk down, you see a long hall. You can make out what looks like a statue at the end. Yeah. You guys wanna check out the statue? Yes. What does the statue look like? 
So, what's it a statue of? So, when you, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all in just a minute. Let me just move you right here. So, as you walk down your uh, this corridor, you are greeted by looks like six statues. I'm gonna show oh. you a map. So, I made a map I for this stick. because I, I figured oh, I'll just explain it, and then I realized no one's gonna understand it if I explain it. So, let me just drag this in here. All right, and for you all watching on stream, it is on stream now. There we go. Right. Yeah, uh, right there. Let me make this a little bit bigger for, so everyone can read that just for a minute. That's what you see. So in each statue, they are there are kind of weapons kind of scattered throughout. They all appear to have like slots for like their, they can hold the weapons, but they are on the ground scattered throughout. You spy two rapiers, two great swords, and two short swords made of stone. They're quite heavy, but you can lift them if you work together. And these statues have spaces to put the oh, it's good to see weapons. That again. They indeed do. And on the bottom of each, you see this little plaque with an inscription right now. Written on it, which is as follows. Going from the top left down. A woman sobbing alone. A mother sitting near a grave. The, the daughter with a patient carrying heart. And from the top right, a boy who seeks nothing but riches. The disappointed father who asks too much. A prideful husband who forgets his wife. Oh, oh, these, these poor people, they must have had some, some terrible stories to tell. I don't trust these statues. No. I am also having Never a suspicion. Never trust anyone. Roll for insight. Go ahead and roll for insight. <laughs> Can I arcana check the statues? Absolutely. Wonderful. Cool. I I got a 21. All right. Unfortunately, you can't discern anything. Okay. With a 21, <laughs> you can, you can kind of, there is some type of magical, like um, almost divination magic. You can kind of you can kind of sense of looking around. You can see a couple of runes here and there that are kind. Of, that must be perhaps sensing a presence of the weapon. Perhaps they're kind of magically linked. That if you put the correct mm -hmm. ones in the correct slot, perhaps something happens. Can uh. Uh, Apollo, your, your big strong arms. Can you bring me one of the uh, weapons? Yeah. So I can see if there any of if there are any ruins on them. Can can you check the other ones as well, everybody? <clears throat> yep. So I rolled an eighteen one, for insight. Um, do I get any kind of notion that of what these are? going to do to us the statues or the weapons the weapons uh, they just appear to be normal weapons you do see the uh, same ruins that you uh, found on the statues on the weapons but they appear to be somewhat normal granted they're made of stone and a bit heavy but they're just they're not sharp or anything that appear to be part of the statues so they appear to be part of the statue you said yes but they're not currently on the said statue Could so the room so do we replace, like, place the the weapons back with the belonging uh, statue? Maybe. Do any do any of the runes differ, or are they all the same rune? They are all the same. Oh, oh no. Dear. Well, this is a conundrum we find ourselves in, my friends. I rolled a twenty-three for strength. Yeah, you pick you just one hand, just whoop. oh, this one's not as heavy as you thought. It's made of pumice. Can I try to one up? <laughs> yes, you may. Sorry, I'm watching the sound effects is for chat. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was playing. I was playing the one eternity later uh, sound effect there for Cat because she's stuck at work. Mm. Well, let me give hey, Cat. Last roll. <laughs> All right. Anyway, sorry. So yeah, you pick up. Uh, which one you pick up? There are they're scattered throughout, but there's two daggers, two rapiers, and two great swords. And what? Pick up a great sword. Uh, you pick up the great sword. You effortlessly pick it up with one hand. Uh, then you put it on your shoulder, and then the weight sinks into you, and then you grasp it with two hands as you realize, oh dang, that's actually pretty heavy. Dang. Or pick up a rapier. All right, make a strength check. I would also like to pick up a rapier. Go ahead, make an athletics check. Athletics? Athletics. Your test I of got strength. 
Wait, wait. I'm wait. I got a two. You I attempt got a to pick up one. <laughs> you attempt to pick up this rapier of two hands, and you pull as hard as you can, but it does not move. And you got a natural one, or you do the same thing, but it does not move. Dang. Is there, are there any? Oh. Huh. Can I religion check these uh, statues? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Solid 17. All right. So there doesn't appear to be any type of religious markings or insignia of any of them, but each statue seems to depict what the, or at least somewhat depict what the sta the a little plaque there on the bottom, or yeah, plaque says on the bottom about the statue. So when you see it, you see a small gravestone and a mother sitting down, looking upon it sadly, with the one in the middle left. So for each statue, for each of the statues, there's at least one weapon, or are there several weapons? There are two of each weapon. Two daggers, two rapiers, and two great swords. For each, for each one? No, just two in general. Oh, a total okay. of six weapons. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Why don't we just try putting one of the, the swords... Apollo, why don't, why don't you try putting one of the swords into one of the uh, <clears throat> one of the okay. statue's hands possibly give the, the prideful i'll let me give the great sword to the boy who seeks riches all right Ooh, so you put like it in there idea. put it into the boy's hands it fits in snugly hmm. Ooh. does anything happen nothing happened okay Nothing mm -hmm. visible. Can I? Can I? I can't check again to see if anything's changed from the first time. Yes, you may. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, a twenty-three. All right. I can, Nothing I, has I can changed. I can copy and paste the these time. if you want. So there's wow. two great swords, two rapiers, and two short swords. Next, you definitely don't need to check the memes, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons channel. Too late. I, Bethany, I trust you. You don't have to show me your rolls. Okay. Can, can I investigate the the, the remainder mm -hmm. weapons? You certainly may. I feel like the a low quality meme. The daughter with a patient carry oh, no, a... would get a rapier. That's a seven. Oh, yeah. Not sure, really. Uh, you can't really. You kind of that's the, You think they definitely go with the statues? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're certain of that fact. These look like these go here. Water is wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proficient in history. Would I know anything about statues? Or you could certainly try, but you're you're probably not gonna find anything. This is not really a history thing. This is something you can't have to solve on your own. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think I want to do an investigation check. All right, on what particular that haven't already been investigated? Um. Well. Yeah, true. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, can I investigate the room itself? Yes, you may. Go ahead and roll investigation. Natural 20. Natural 20. So with that natural 20, what's the total, total DC? What's your mouth? He fell asleep. <laughs> Art has fallen asleep. He investigates mm -hmm. the room and falls over asleep. What What is the total of, of, of within that twenty? I don't know your mods. Uh, all my mods. Hold on. Yes. Eh. If you can't crit or crit fail, uh, for skill checks. Uh, perception. That is. Twenty. Wait, the investigation. Hmm? Oh wait, investigation. Yeah. Yeah. The intelligence. 
25. 25! So with that 25, you look around, uh, there appears to be nothing. You see the door, it, ca it has like a latch on there, you pull against the door and kind of move back, but it does not give, it appears to be locked. Uh, but there's only the six statues in this room, some dust and nothing else. There's just those weapons and the six statues. Uh, you also know that there are a few people that kind of scratch marks on the floor from the people putting down the weapons or maybe moving them. Because they look, they look very close to like weapons, like you take a weapon on the ground, especially with the stone ones, that it would scratch it. Hmm. Why don't we try putting the weapons in front of the statues into each statue's hand? One, one weapon to each statue? Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean... Are there any markings that would possibly tell us to which... No, we've, we've, we've already oh, checked that. Uh, there is a <laughs> plaque you. on each statue. Uh, if you'd like, I can read them again, or you can read them on the on the map themselves. No, I've got them on the map, but I just okay. made sure. Okay, so, so there's an investigation of the... the points of the Richards. Pardon? A woman saw me alone. Maybe one of the, the daggers? Maybe. Possibly a rapier. Possibly. Right, yeah, if you guys like are also... would be as a dagger. I... Also feel like the mother sitting near a grave would be one of the great swords. Yeah. What weapons do we have then? Two great swords, two rapiers, two daggers. Can I do an investigation oh, check to, to check the scratch markings to try to discern what weapon? Uh, they're just scratch markings. You couldn't discern that from that. Uh, but if you guys okay. are, do need a hint on the puzzle, you may roll a DC 15 intelligence track, to, and I will give you a hint if you succeed. I, I think I, I think I. See I feel like we could do this. All right. I think the boy who seeks nothing but riches was the great sword. He went out seeking nothing but riches. He died. The mother sitting near a grave will have his great sword. Yes. The prideful husband who forgives his wife is. Maybe a rapier and a woman sobbing alone because her husband forgot her. The other? The daughter with a patient and caring heart with the disappointing father. father who asked too much would be the daggers. Yeah, maybe. But I think that's what it is. I think they match them up. Yeah, yeah that's that's what I was... Okay. Well, Apollo, get lifting. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Okay, so we said the woman is a rapier then? The woman's sobbing alone? Sobbing alone is a rapier. Okay, mm -hmm. so... So is the third one. I'll put one of those rapiers in the woman sobbing alone's hands. And then the prideful husband was a rapier. And then the prideful husband with the other rapier. The, the daughter... And the father were the daggers. Okay. So I'll put the put the two daggers in their hands respectively. And the great sword with the mother sitting near a grave. Alright. So you're putting the two greats uh, the great sword is going to, uh, from the boy seeking Richards and the mother near the grave, correct? Yes. yes. The rapier is going to the woman Sabian alone and the prideful man. Yep. And then the two daggers are going to the other two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. So as you go ahead and put the last weapon into it, you hear the clicking of a mechanical mechanism with a sound of magic. Whatever sound magic makes, it makes that sound. As the door <laughs> unlocks. <laughs> ah. Oh, well done, everybody. That was that was a hard one. I was gonna get I could have used fireball. We investigated the heck out of that room. Mm, you sure did. <laughs> you are, there was not a square inch of that room that you did not that you did not look through. Oh, so now I, you look through the door it looks like a dragon or a griffin. Can I see what the door is made of? Got, uh, guys, excuse me. Uh, just What's... a quick, quick question. Who are the ones that are taking the sword, the weapons out of the hands of the statues? Leave them in, because we need to leave as well. 
Well, no, no, no. She's saying who took them out in the first place. How did we? Yeah. Oh. Uh... Should we be expecting something on the other side of this door? Nah. nah. Should we send no, just? Yet. Should we send well. just fill in with his with his poor poor reflection? You are welcome to make a perception check. You okay. Make it, Harry? Uh, perception. Oof. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> you think you hear something from the other side of the door, but you're not quite sure. Um, I'm also like at the back on a dock, so I mean it makes sense that I can't see shit. <clears throat> Sorry, I see you anything. Know, the map shows a dragon, but there's also arrows coming through him. Oh no. Uh... Okay, I guess uh, who's close to the door? I guess I would be, because I'm standing around doing nothing. Okay. Yes. Well, can, you are the I rogue. Like, can I, like, put my ear to the door and listen? All right. Yes, you may make a perception check. Uh, that is 23. All right. You hear what sounds like. A deep snoring of a very large creature. Oh no! Uh, guys, it's sleepy. Sneak it down. We have a, Fireball. We have a sleeping. <gasps> we have a sleeping dark. Well, big creature. Oh, oh my God. Slowly and quietly crack open the door. All right, go ahead and roll stealth. Oh, there's gonna be a bell tied to the door, isn't there? <laughs> You'll have to find oh, out. No. 19. 19. Nice. So you stealthily, quietly open this door, stone door, only uh, only hearing a great slightly. And what you see on there is a large skeletal dragon sleeping. It looks like he's um, covering something. He's kind of curved around like a C. His head blocks something you can't quite see from this angle. Could I walk around him? Uh... Quietly. You certainly could. I'm gonna have you make another uh, stealth check, though. Oh no! No oh, good. Oh no! Uh, that is a twenty-two. Yes. So you stealthily walk past him. What you see on there is a, a marble pedestal with a red, sad, uh, sorry, a red crimson pillow on there, on top resting a golden key. Oh yes. You feel the breath of the skeletal dragon somehow. Bro I'm blowing against you as you walk past it. It feels quite forceful, despite not having a respiratory system. <laughs> Can I... Uh, is there enough room between the dragon's bones for me to just walk up and take the key? Yes, you certainly could. I would like to carefully uh, maneuver my way around the dragon. Right, we'll, take the key. we'll keep using the um yeah so we'll keep using your stealth for them but i'm gonna have you make a slight of hand check to do that oh no <laughs> jokes on you i've got plus eight a slight of hand and plus eight stealth 24. Nine. 24 very nice so you oh, quietly damn. nimbly go and nick <laughs> that key you have it the key i would like to make my way back to the party are right, you quietly Tiptoe, like pink, like the Pink Panther himself, walk back to the party. Did you see Dorvla? That would be a that would be such a great flaw to have. That every time you were sneaking, you'd been cursed to like have the Pink Panther thing. <laughs> yes, it would. Oh, yeah, like it. you hear the music? That's ah, the wind. But it'll Just be you know what. Uh, you know the Emperor's New Groove one where Kronk's doing it? <laughs> Every oh, time he stands still, he just goodness. goes... Ah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, there is The dragon was sleeping on this key. Uh, I've taken it from the dragon. There was a dragon? It's a skeletal dragon. Somehow, some way, it's alive and it can breathe. Oh. I felt some breath. Uh, even though it doesn't look like it has a respiratory system. Oh! Oh dear! 
Did you see anything like on the dragon that might need a key? Uh, I didn't see anything on the dragon. It's just it's just a bone dragon. Do you see a door? I mean, on the map there is a door. Uh, in the back of the room, but uh, did you see said door? I didn't look for the door. It could be magic, where we still have to fight this dragon, and then the door shows up. Should yes, I cause fireball? I turn around. No, no, no fireball. No fireball. Not yet. Next, I turn around and I look for the door. Do I see it? You see a door, clear as day, in the right corner of the room. Oh, now we just told you to use our skill. Right there. Oh, oh, uh, but what? If, what if we wake up the dragon? Okay, guys. Out of character question, how is your stealth? <laughs> I'm an old lady stealth. riding a dog. I have plus two, so. I got a plus two as well. Uh, Respectable. Stealth. I uh, you and I are one. the most stealthy, Yato. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just check. Uh. If you and I have everyone, and uh, they roll with advantage, we might be able to stealth our way over. I mean, I have no problem giving it a shot, but uh, I'm just my friend has my die, so, you know. I'll fight my ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... All right, well, I'm running. <laughs> Bye guys. Uh, no, 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 Harry, no, 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 Harry, no. Too late. He's already <laughs> said it. It's too late. <laughs> Harry, is that what you would like to do, it. sir? No, no. I don't have no key. This is really bad. I'm deal. the one with the key. Remember. I can just pick up, pick up Yado, and then run. But then you're not stealthy, and Yado is. So we I have the key. We'll just open and run. Ah, no, I've got listen, it. Listen, Harry, it. listen. I we am stealthy. Back. The dragon will see you because you're not stealthy. <laughs> Yanni, can he carry and us And he all? won't see me. Uh, I don't think I'm strong enough to carry oh, all no. of you. Um, excuse me. Oops, again. <clears throat> just, just a question. So, there's a harp. Or a, or a lyre. On the, uh, in one of those rooms, maybe if someone is able to play it or has an instrument, the dragon will stay asleep. It's, it's just, it's, it's just an idea, but I, uh, do not particularly want to have to sneak past and then come back where there is a dragon. So are you saying we have to go all the way back around? Uh, I mean, it's, it's possibly. the other side of the wall. Yes, but I mean, that would not. That's would quite a means to get back over there. Be... We can break the wall down. That is That'll a good idea. That, that's a good idea. Well, we could just break the door down in a different room. I mean, no matter how we look at it, it's we go back to the one with the swords. Back to the beholder, back to the bees, back to that. We basically have to go back to where we came, so it's going to be a long route to go back. Unless we break the wall that we're in right now. It looks, yeah, we it could looks do like, that. It looks like on the map that this door doesn't have a lock on it, because the doors that were locked have like a small lock symbol on the map. So, like the shield room uh -oh. over here, I point at the shield room, and uh, the room right to the floating iron scaffolding. So we could circumnavigate this dragon entirely and just break through on the right side of the map? That's probably what the key is what for. If, yeah, if, I mean, if we're going to break through a wall, we might as well make progress when breaking through. Yeah. Well, yeah, well then if we, we break should the, we If we break the wall, that. we don't need the harp. You have oh. a very good point. One thing you'll to know is all the walls are hewn from volcanic rock. Oh. oh I mean, that's fine. That, that, that makes them brittle. Listen, listen, that depends. How long have they had to cool? Can we do like a 
investigation check? Um, that's nature. That'd be nature check. Yeah. All right. Who has the highest nature? The druid. Probably the druid. It's time to break down the fourth wall. Harry, Harry, we're not breaking the fourth wall. Not again. Hey, oh, Harry. <laughs> and then just Harry <laughs> takes that wonderful uh, one psychic damage. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Okay. So Harry, Harry, Harry did you just try and break the fourth wall? Why would you try and break the fourth wall? There is no fourth wall. You know it's going to hurt you. Yes. I'm smart. No, you're not. No, you're right. I did my nature check and rolled a 15. Right, so you so what, tell me about the levels. You don't know how, like, exa how exactly how long these had to cool, but um, it, look it looks like this is um, pretty ma like magically cleave cl or cloven through and carved out. Oh, so, so I guess it's, it's, it's possible to carve. Okay, next. <clears throat> Tell me, how big are the crystals? Crystal? What crystals? Uh, whenever, um, whenever lava f um, cools, it forms rock in forms of crystals. They form mm. tiny crystals, and depending on how big those crystals are, is how brittle or as strong it is. I don't exactly remember which one. Probably pretty <laughs> small, as it kind of looks like, it just looks like stone from the outside. Uh, Could I potentially fire breath the wall to heat them up and then just break it down that way? Because now it's like, when you heat up metal, it becomes very uh, malleable. So heat up the rock, we can just bust it down. And it's volcanic rock, which was carved by fire. Yeah, so we have a fire, we have fireball, we have fire bolt, we have my dragon's breath. It's gonna wake the dragon, y'all. Oh, well, uh, f I mean, fire hitting a wall doesn't necessarily mean it's going to. Oh, what if you heat it up, and then I can cast a cold spell on it and make it brittle enough to shatter? That's not about that. No, I think her ideas yeah, works better. You <laughs> heat and then cool. Uh, that would need, uh, uh, okay. We would need to heat up to a really high temperature and then that spell would need to instantly cool it down to a really, really low temperature in the negatives. Well, it is... For it to completely it, shatter. It will, it will cause you know, frostbite on a, a regular creature. And it's not like the wall can, uh, you know, save and pull away from the cold. And I can do this as many times as I wish. Oh, 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 I've got, I've got, I've got an idea. No, Phil, no, 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 Harry, no <laughs> fireball. Can we kill the dragon? Can I, that's can always I an a, option. That's, that's, that's our main option. Can I have a second look at the dragon? And could I uh, roll something to decipher how strong it looks? Yes, you may. You can may make a um, investigation check. That is... 22. Uh, with a 22, you can. It's definitely no pushover. It's pretty strong. It looks big, burly, and has sharp talons. Yeah. But it's also quite asleep. I, uh. would have to, like, distract it. If it's if it wakes up, then we can try sneaking past it. Yeah, it's English. I, I, yeah, I can like I can like go past it and slam the door so it gets distracted, like the door. Right. Door up there. Sound of an animal. Mm. Create a biosphere. Mm. Hmm. 
Next, can you check your DMs? Yes, I can. Well, Remember when things were staying in a room? Talking about breaking the wall down and the dragon just sleeping right there. We're like, we can just break it down. The dragon's just snoozing away. I mean, he'll wake up and... Uh... Yeah, just okay. go and tell a party that. Hey, next. I would like to... Um... Mm. I have a crowbar. I would like to... Uh... Take the crowbar and... Slowly, like, I guess you could say, like, not lightly, but not like very heavy, uh, chip away at the wall just to see how well it chips away. So you cut, you take your crowbar and put it, hit it against the wall lightly. You hear the lovely ping reverberate through your the entire room as you uh, pr practically made a metal oh. instrument. Uh, but it does not really chip away, it's pretty solid stuff. And guys, does yes. this give you an idea that we can't bust through the wall? Wake the dragon. Uh, but now, Bethany or Jonathan, did you still want to go and split up real quick? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna nerd, uh, nerd? Nerd? <laughs> Ada. Uh, I, I've just, Regan, I've just sent you a message in your, in your DMs. Um, and just be like, just let's go come with me we'll go and get it um and i would like to full sprint go back through everything on uh hyacinth and run to the room with the harp right all right all right, all right i'm in so you just book it back the way you came. Uh, as, as you run past the undead beholder, it looks around and just spins around in circles by the sheer force <laughs> of you just kind of going around it like a, like a ball of wow. uh, air table here. Very confused. But anyway, so you can walk by and you make it to the door by, with a shield where you notice there's arcane ruins and such on the door. Uh, it appears to be a, a, some type of arcane lock. and the door. But there's another door behind you that is unlocked. You, you see it's slightly ajar. The door is not ajar, but the door is slightly open. So it's jar, and you see uh, several mirrors in there, and one <laughs> tall floor mirror. It's the mirror I was talking about, and you guys didn't listen. We can't hear you. Yeah, <laughs> you are standing yeah, in a room alone with uh, just Harry. Yeah. <laughs> well. Uh, okay. Did so you go follow them. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, it's just me and me and. No, it's just me and uh, Ada. It's just Jocelyn and Ada. So that's kind of, we're all just like, do we fight the dragon while they're gone? So. Yeah, you can have that conversation. We're gonna go and do the normal thing. <laughs> Are like, these yes. mirrors in the way of the door? Is there? Does it seem like we have to do anything to the mirrors to get to the door? So, so it's in this can room I... to the left. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, if we just open the door. I mean, out the way. The, jar door? the mirror is then facing the next door, right? But yes, the mirror is facing the door, so it's all. It's the room itself is yeah, ten no. feet wide, uh, ten feet width. Like when you look into it from the door, it's ten feet. Yeah. Wide, and then it's about twenty feet uh, wide. Uh, now the standing mirror is at like the wall facing the door, right over there. Yeah, and yeah, then, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So it would face the other so, door. So yeah, so if we open it all the way the other door is now in line with the mirror, right? Yes. Does the other door unlock? It does not, but when you look through the mirror, you notice that you don't see the reflection. What you see inside is a cozy cabin with a fire lit in the hearth, a kettle boiling, up boiling upon there, and a hefty pot of stew, which you can almost smell through the pitcher. Ada, do we trust this? I'm just gonna say that where Ralph was was pretty warm and cozy and inviting, so we might have to deal with another uh, snarky a skeleton or something worse. So now, Ada, are you uh, in this room as well? And I'm yeah, it's me. All right. So, Ada, when I'm you not. look in the mirror, you I see you're not Paul. So, Ada, when you look at the mirror, you see something else entirely. What you see is oh. a great grove of trees, uh, several fairies darting about, many plants that are luscious and blooming, of many colors growing. In a very healthy environment mm. ecosystem. 
So it, uh, is it showing us what we want to see? Something that we... Yes, it's showing you what you want to You're see. You're not here. <laughs> this is an out of character thing because it showed me. <laughs> is it what you want gold. to see? Like, it's what you want to be, where you want it, to be. It is it's, not it. You're great, like. It's like your paradise. It's it's absolutely not. Can I, In fact, can I roll Arcana on that mirror? Also, same. Yes, you may. Because this is absolutely not where I want to be. Um. So 11. I rolled 11. Uh, I uh, didn't do 11, much better. Uh, I got a 15. Uh, the DC is, was 15. Uh, so hey, you're not quite okay. sure how it functions, some type of magic. And um, Beth, uh, what you see kind of this must be some type of illusion magic showing you something else. Although when you kind of get closer to investigate, you accidentally touch the glass and your finger goes through it. Whoops. Oh, well, that sounds but it is. Wait, I've, I've got a theory. But it is not where I, I wanted to be. I you know what, Ada? Here. Do you know what, Ada? I am too old to care anymore. Back in a minute. I'm just gonna walk through the, I'm gonna walk through the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, so you just walk right through it? Yeah. All right, so you just walk into this mirror, <laughs> setting your foot into this cozy hearth. You look behind you, the mirror is gone. Uh, however, you yeah. now actually smell the stew, uh, the stew that was cooking upon there. Uh, the hefty Oops. beef pot roast with potatoes in there, as well as a little bits of bacon, onion, and some carrots and beans. With a little bit of lentils as well. It is quite delicious. It's well seasoned with salt and pepper. Mmm, boy. You smell it. It that just makes you nice. salivate. You see, hear the kettle boiling. You hear the sounds like a laughter of children on the outside. Everything. You look around. Everything seems to be about halfling size as well. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead. Excuse the language. <clears throat> all right, you little bastards, come out! What is this all about? I'm not enjoying this trickery. I just want to open the bloody door. All right, so what you hear um the children laugh from outside. Uh, ceases for a moment as two kids come uh, walk inside. One boy, one girl, uh, quite young. Definitely a little, a little older than toddlers, but not quite tweens yet. Uh, they walk in and look at you kind of very confused and look at each other, then look back to you. Well, I'm not enjoying any of this. What's going on? Uh, what, what are you referring to? You know exactly what I'm referring to, you little sod. <laughs> you muppet. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well. Little sod is a uh, British thing. <laughs> I know. I know yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, well, this is this is your house. No, no, it's not. I think you'll find it's not. I'm a terrible cook. Oh, Grandma, <laughs> did you not take your medication today? <clears throat> Don't, oh, Grandma, me, you little. Oh, right. You have to the count of three, and then I'm going to start tanning some asses. <laughs> Hold on, let me go get mother. Mom, <laughs> Grandma forgot to take a medication again. Come in here. One. <laughs> so as um the girl turns around, you notice that around her neck is uh, a necklace with the with part of a key on there. Oh. You hear the sounds of a footstep of definitely an adult, uh, probably happily by the sound of it, uh, walking in with a small container. Oh, Grandma, always forgetting to take your meds. Three! Right, which one of you is getting it first? <laughs> I'm just going to get like a wooden spoon out from somewhere. <laughs> and I'm going to head habit. towards one of the children. There are plenty of wooden spoons inside the house. There are I many bet. wooden spoons. There's a fine collection of wooden spoons. Various sizes and shapes. Oh, which to All be right. the children? Alright, lovely. Are. Whichever one looks the most like a paddle. <laughs> there are several. Uh, you can tell some of them are well used and definitely have been used for this before. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll pick that one. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> anyway, so the, the halfling one, uh, woman walks over to you with, uh, over you with a uh, small kind of cylindrical things in her hand. Yeah, take this. You always feel better after you take it. 
if you come anywhere near me with one of those, you will see how how much I am in my right mind because my magic still works. You shall feel my wrath. <laughs> Man, we talked about this. Magic isn't real. I'm going to give a, uh, like a, an eyebrow raise. And I, I'm going to take a hand in mine. Uh, well, in both of mine and like, you know, clasp it between the two. Mm-hmm. Um, and cast Frostbite. Ah, you cast Frostbite. Uh, seemingly nothing happens. Ah, oh, well, I still got the spoon! <laughs> Magic doesn't work, but violence does! <laughs> Time for the spoon. Violence. Are you going to start sma- smacking the kids with the spoon? I'm going to threaten to smack the kids I'm with the spoon unless they come here right now. Uh, Grandma, put the, put the spoon down! Get here right now, and you won't get the spoon. What? What? I promise. Well, you have a spoon. I won't come near you. What am I gonna do with the spoon? What are you gonna do with the spoon? I'm poor, weak old grandma. I can't do anything with a spoon. Remember? Why did I tell you what? This has all been. I must have been having an episode. Why don't you come and give grandma a hug? But I can put the put the spoon down first. I'm gonna I'm just put the spoon into like my waistband and then like kneel down and be like, arms out. All right, then, then they uh, kind of kind of cautiously come close to you and give you a hug. All right, I can I I can see when they come towards me that mm-hmm. they have the things around the neck. Yeah, only only one of them, the female, has a uh, the half of, uh, part of a key around her neck and uh, neck. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, oh, well, this is very nice, where's, where is the other half? What other half? Oh, okay, um, I would like to yoink it off her neck. <laughs> yoink, yeah, you just yoink it, <laughs> she's a kid. I'm gonna yoink it off her neck. You yoink it into your hand. Yes. Skadoosh that shit out of her neck. Does anything is, is does anything happen? You now have the necklace in your hands, and the child looks very confused. Oh, oh no! <laughs> How do I get out? Uh, you I do look, look back where you came if... from. There appears to be a front door. Ah, oh, let's just get through the front door. Oh, I'll be back in a second. And you just <laughs> book it out the front door <laughs> as, as fast as an old lady can. You hobble the out dog through the front door. Is... Still with Ada, <laughs> <laughs> and you are ju- and you kind of go out and you jump out on the other side of the mirror back into the room from whence you came. Uh, the spoon seemingly gone, but the but the part of the key in your hand. Oh, Ada, I've just been on an adventure. Don't believe anything they tell you. They're lying little bastards. Where did you go? I don't know. I didn't know any of those people, but they called me <laughs> Grandma. I threatened my magic didn't work. You're gonna have to use your words, my darling, to get these, uh, to get the other half of the key, I believe. All right. Wait, how many halves of the key are there? I take a big deep. Well, half plus half equals. I mean, how how, how many? (laughs) I I particularly said part of a key. You said half of a key. Oh no! Wait, do we all have to go in? If I said half, I meant to say part. Okay. Last cool. And particularly, you know, like the it's I think it's called the bell of the key, where that's like the round part. Yeah, of yeah. That's what you got from that. <laughs> what was that, my dear? Last one. Can can I see you how much uh, what you just got uh, the key? Can you? Oh, can you yes, show it to of course you, of course you can. Just hold hold my hand out to to Ada, and then I'm gonna give the give give hyacinth some pets so you'd be such a good little girl um i get one of those rats mm-hmm. out of the uh of the side saddle and just like i'm a i'm a f- i'm a chuck it on the floor fireball it um and then let her oh, eat it <clears throat> all right next what do i see when i see this this key so you see a round the round bell <laughs> of a key so just the the base of the key uh, would that mean that only the teeth need to be found? Uh, the teeth the, and the shaft. Well, like separately or or 
or is that one way else? to find out? All right, I, I'm gonna hand the key back to Jocelyn for safety, and I'm gonna begrudgingly take a deep hey, breath. Oh, and... Ada, Ada, before you go, how long was I in there for, and could you see anything? Uh, nothing happened over here. I was just looking into the mirror and seeing all the, you know, pretty butterflies and fairies and and all the. If, the... Beware of the Fae, they're a tricksy bunch. How long was I in there? <laughs> that is a really good question. I was in there for about, about uh, two minutes. Okay. I left by you. The mirror vanishes, but I left by using the front door. I'd suggest not eating or drinking anything they offer you, but get the key and leave. I'm not gonna have any front doors, but uh, I will do my best. You never know. There might be some form of entrance or exit, yeah. portal, anything like that. You can do this, Ada. I believe in you, my child. <laughs> All right. So you point. step through the door. I'm sorry, not the door. You step Ooh, through the door. Oh, I want to. I want to pass. I want to. I want to. I want to cast guidance on her. Ah, uh, you cast a guidance in. upon her. You now have a plus one d4 to any skill check you do in the next minute. Nice. Nice. Ooh, we should keep One minute. I do so step I, through. I take a deep breath. Begrudgingly step through. You take a deep breath and begrudgingly step through the mirror. As you walk through, you will find yourself in this forest, right at the mouth of a like a perfectly still pond. You see those what well, I described before, uh, kind of wandering around. You see several fae and sprites, kind of, kind of um, darting about, causing mischief in their normal fae way. My my face is gonna light up because I'm really excited about being around all these beautiful plants and. It's gonna kind of remind me of home, um, and um. And you I smell guess, the fresh forest, know. the fresh forest, fresh forest air against your face, the crispness, the liveliness of it, the energy of nature. Can I do a like? Can I get an idea of where? This key is. Go ahead and like make a perception a... Check. check. Perception check. Perceive what the key is. Plus six. Alright, that's a 17. Alright, so you notice that there be several. there seems to be several sprites kind of tossing this small cylinder back and forth in a game of catch, kind of darting all over the place and still throwing it like a football. Hey, hey, uh, that over there, you, you! Hey, can I run over there and get their attention? Yes, you can. You get their attention, they stop for a moment while one holds it, flying in the air and looking at you. They look like small little elves with wings, about the size of your hand. Do you, do you mind, can I see what you're throwing around right there? You, you, they look over each other, they say, they say to you in Druidic, You'll have to catch us first! And they begin flying around, tossing it back and forth. Do I have trees to climb? Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty there nimble. Are they, like, flying high, or...? They're not flying very high. Like, enough to get it within your arm's reach, but, like, towards mm -hmm. high, and whenever you kind of, like, try to swipe it and get close, they try to, like, fly away. They're clearly toying with you. Can I... Do it through a craft? Can I do anything together? Uh-uh. Can I entangle them? Uh, they are currently flying. Okay. A good idea. Can I bound up one of the trees and like jump at whichever one like has the the cylinder? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Go ahead and well, you have a climb speed, so you don't make any check for that. Uh, but go ahead, and make an acrobatics check, see if you can grab one while jumping off the tree. Belly flop it. Oh no, that's a seven. So as you kind of mm. bound up this tree and go, you kind of, you kind of just about grab it, but it throws it to another sprite and darts out of the way of your hand. You almost grabbed it though. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch them for a minute and try to pers- like get an idea of of the pattern, the pattern, the rhythm that they're throwing it in, and then go after whoever I think it's going to next. I All guess. right. Yeah, you kind of get an idea of how they're pattern. They didn't throw it somewhat randomly, but kind of like the randomness of a kid. You kind of you know you can kind of predict which one they're gonna throw to it next. A friend to throws to a friend, right? Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I try to intercept it. All right. Go ahead and make um. Go ahead and make another um. Uh, say slight hand check. See how quickly you can grab it with advantage. Hmm. That's eleven. Right, with advantage. Uh yes. And that, that is enough. So as you as you kind of wait for your moment, you notice it throws it to exactly where you were exactly where you were expecting. You re- bound up and grab it from their hands. You now have a small cylinder in your hand. I guess you can. <laughs> they begin laughing like a, a gaggle of children and just kind of fly around you in a circle. In yeah, a thank you. <laughs> they they laugh at your sly remark. Can I can I uh, inspect the? the cylinder and see what's in it if it's enough of what i need indeed so you look at the cylinder it appears to be a shaft of a key made of iron it looks like it would fit in with the bell is it would it com- possibly complete the key looks like it's still missing the teeth you need one more part how many teeth are there you don't know all right so i'm gonna while i'm in the room with them with Yato and just Harry, I'm going to think that it's taking too long. I'm going to head back. Yeah, we all think it's taking too long, yeah. so we head back and meet with them. Uh, it's you only want... been a matter of five minutes, really. Yes. Yeah, but if it was just like, we're going to sprint there and grab the harp and come back, and it's like, this is... Right. You got to go across the bees. So you walk Anything back else? at a um, lavish pace, making your way over there, and you see it just... Not just Harry... Just uh, Jocelyn standing at the mirror, looking. Making my way down the tower, walking fast. Do you re- printing do now? Da, 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 da. And now you come back. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, do I see any Where's doors it? next? You do not see any doors. You just see that uh, perfectly still pond that you came in next to. Oh man, I'm a cat. I don't like this stuff. Um, oh no. Alright, can I. I'm gonna secure the cylinder in like my pocket or pack really quick and then start trudging into the, the pond and All see right. if anything happens. You trudge through the pond. After your third step in there, you feel the wet, kind of swampy algae just kind of sl- like slimily stick to your fur. You After your third oh. step, you just fall right through. And go through the, you go through the mirror and land on your back. Just Damn. like monsters in. <laughs> Alright, I got it. I got it, guys. I got it. What oh, did you get? Oh. oh. I got What's it. I mean, I got it, Jocelyn, and then I'm pretty surprised that all my comments. Ah. Where did you go well from? Done. And then I, I'm gonna show Jocelyn the c- cylinder and sh- that it's only a shaft of key. Wait, what do you guys see in the mirror? What just happened? Well, I, I ask what you guys see in the mirror. Well, we've just been through because well, I personally don't feel like fighting a dragon. And I saw a lovely homely hearth with food and family um, and managed to get part of a key. And part of a key? Part of a key, and dear, dear young Ada has just been through. And what was it that you saw, dear? Uh, it was it was a forest with a bunch of plants, a pond, and fairies or uh, sprites flying around. That's yeah. But it was lovely. Are... I wish I could go back there though. Yes, oh. I know. So, so need Jocelyn, someone else to go through, I think. Is there, yeah. I'm gonna look in the mirror then. A place where you would want to be. Uh, it 
is something I left behind long ago. Ah. And I now just want adventure, so... Yeah, my, mine definitely reminded me of home. Apollo, it you, reminds me of home. So, Apollo, as you look through the mirror, you spy your old dojo. What you see in there is just the em an empty dojo. Some weapons lying in some of the walls, like bokens and other training weapons, as well as some training bags and such. All right, I'm going to walk through the mirror, then. Uh, I look at the mirror ah, you, well. walk, you walk through the mirror, and that's what you see. Just Harry, you see uh, um, this, this platform surrounded by the fires of hell itself. Oh, <laughs> that's <Right> home. <laughs> smells like home in there. It smells like just Harry. Oh, oh no, <laughs> sulfur. Anyway, so Paul, as you step through, you're greeted by the, the sound of birds chirping outside, the, the gentle breeze flowing through his dojo, the, the scent of old sweat staining the floor and piercing the air. You know, that, that kind of gym smell. Gross. I guess I'll start looking around for the key. All right, you start looking around, you start rummaging through some of the items and such, and you don't find it. However, you hear footsteps coming from behind you. I turn around to look at them. You turn around and look at them. You see a golden dragonborn monk dressed in a gi, wielding a red belt there. You recognize him as your old sparring part partner, Dagoleth. Dagoleth. Hello there. Hello. Are you here for another match? I'm here for a key, but if I have to fight you to get it, then so be it. Key? Well, I know some key, but there's no why. He winks at you. Very clever. <laughs> I guess we're going to do this. Let's do this. All right. You two uh, begin taking sparring stances. None of you are trying to Mortal roll for damage. Kind of like really damage play. each other, so we're not going to roll initiative here. But what is your tactics oh. in this fight? I was going to burn it to the ground, but okay. Uh, I guess just try and subdue them. All right, so you're going to go for a, like, kind of like a grapple? Yeah. All right, go ahead and make an athletics check. Athletics? If contested against his acrobatics. Solid eight. Oof. Solid eight? Hey, he got a solid seven. And after his dexterity <laughs> modifier, it's a seven. <laughs> so you grapple and get him oh, no. and He is a strength monk. I mean, he could have used strength, but he chose to use that. Like, you, re you remember this guy. He was not the sharpest tool in this chat. That's why he never got um, uh, promoted to black belt. He was, he's was he been red, red belt for the past two years. Dang. Yeah, so you, you he quite easily sub kind of grab on. So he attempts to wiggle on, almost does, but you, your, your grip is just too much for him. This is why you suck. <laughs> but thank you for the feedback. <laughs> uh, after so after that, you notice um in the ba uh, in the knot of his belt tied is another it looks like a piece of metal. I'm gonna reach for it. All right, you reach for it and, and grab it. Uh, despite him trying to wiggle out, you still can't quite get out from your grapple. <laughs> I guess I'll just yank it away and like put my hand on it basically onto like his whole belt push him away and basically like ripping like his belt off with it all right you just you just kind of embarrass him by taking off his belt as his gi becomes come slightly undone he kind of scrambles to put it back on to cover himself and then like i'm just gonna like drop the belt in front of him while holding the other piece of metal in my right hand that's how i say again I'm gonna just drop the belt in front of myself. So and, interested. Like, like I don't need that. I have mine's better. Here's that back. <laughs> and then I guess I'll look. For, I'll look towards the door to leave. Uh, you see the front door to the dojo, sliding paper, uh, rice paper door. I'm gonna just run through it. You run through it <laughs> and find yourself on the other side of the mirror. You now have the teeth of the key. Hmm. Ultra what else part. needs for the? What else is needed for the key? What'd you find? What'd you find while you were there? I got the teeth of a key. All right, I'm gonna present oh, what God. I have. Here's what I have. 
So the three of us, uh, oh, I or the two of us, I guess, to Jocelyn. I feel like someone else should probably put this together. You know, the arthritis and all. I'll have a go. <laughs> I all use right, my then. nimble hands with sleight of hand to put them together. Ah, right, you use your nimble hand and you assemble this key. One piece fits to another and and gets it clicks in with a satisfying click. And you now have an iron key. Oh, well done. Hello. You did it. What was so now that? in my possession, I have a gold key and an iron key. Well, Wait, okay. why is this so something? We should go from the door that's behind us then. Yeah. There is no lock there. I've inspected the door. So I'll walk into the hallway and then to the door with the lock. Do I still see something in the mirror? You still see what I described before, mountains of gold and gems and other precious materials. Mm. Uh, I still see my vision. Uh, do you guys still see yours? That's yeah. a good question. For those who went through the mirror, you see it as a simple mirror. So you're no, I do not. No, I just, so. just, just a mirror. I, I look both. closer to the mirror and I see all the sludge from the pond. I'm like, yeah. I just see myself and I look like a mess. <laughs> you oh, do. No. I, you notice you're quite clean, actually. Um, there is no sludge or anything on you from the other place. Oh. You feel mm -hmm. icky still, but you do not appear to be icky. Harry, I just see myself you though. See your place. Yeah, right? I see home. Uh, I know for a fact that that door doesn't have a key because I've already inspected it. Oh, it has Maybe a... we need some sort of a magic item and the keys come in later. Well, Are if you... you decide to go through, I would like to request that you leave both of the keys. Yes, I would leave both the keys here. I understand that. Okay. Just, just... I, I pass my keys to <laughs> Jocelyn. All right, Jocelyn, where are you exactly? Um, mm -hmm. I well, everyone kind of just piled in, so I'm probably still like in the corner-ish. Okay. Are you like so the corner? Okay. No, just one. I just want to know if you're in the hallway or not. Uh, no, no, no not yet, because everybody kind of piled into the room, so I wouldn't have had chance. I thought we'd already opened the door, so. I feel like there's something in the hallway now. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's messing up. Maybe, maybe not. You'll have to go and look and find out for yourself. I guess yeah. I'll walk out in the hallway then. First off, yeah, you're going through the door, right? I'm sorry, you're going through the yeah. mirror. Me? Yes, sir. Yeah. I would like to reluctantly first put my hand through the mirror and put then slowly uh, the rest of myself. As he goes through, I would like to cast Guidance on him, as I forgot to do it with uh, um, Apollo. All good. You do that. And you do that. You do what you people described. And that happens. You walk Ooh. through. You step up um, into this mountain of gold. As far as the eye can see, just hordes upon hordes of gold. You step. It's quite solid. It is not fluid at all, unlike Scrooge McDuck would have you believe. It is a great <laughs> a solid mass of many solid objects and gems and such. What could Imagine I be in that scene. Could I uh, roll perception for the odd item out? Absolutely. Uh, that is 17. 17. So you look around, you see this massive mountain of gold that ascends high, high up, about 30 feet. There's a massive pile of coins, of gold, copper, silver, electrum. Even though you think it's stupid, it's still there. All these gems, and at the very top is a chest. Is there a fire somewhere near me? Is there what? A fire, like some sort of place to melt something. There is not fire. However, you do notice there is quite a bright light coming from the top, as if there's a giant hole um, in the roof, kind of lighting in the sun. It makes all the, it makes like... all the gold glisten and sparkle. 
I would like to put gold in my uh, pouch. Fill my pouch with gold ah, as you, much as I can. You fill your pouch with as much gold as you can carry. You feel it weigh you down, as it must weigh maybe a hundred pounds, if not more. Quite heavy. Your pouch almost breaks at the weight. Hmm. I leave the pouch. Wait, no. I empty the pouch again. You empty the pouch. It is now back to its original state. Uh, I would like to climb up the hill of mountain of gold. You begin clambering this mountain of gold. As you attempt to climb, coins begin to fall down as you kind of get the grip. Uh, kind of flying down like a mini avalanche as you step. But you do eventually make it up there after hearing the rattling and clinking of many, many coins. I open the chest. You open the chest, and behold, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no. It's a mimic. <laughs> Boy. Uh, that is a 21. 21, all right. So, as, the, as you attempt to kind of get out from this way, uh, yeah. You see this large kind of tongue-like thing erupt from it, and you dodge out of the way, kind of sliding down a little bit of this mountain of gold. Could I grab the tongue and throw it down the mountain? Go ahead. As in, like, grab the tongue <laughs> and yank it so the chest goes down the mountain. All right, go ahead and make a acro um, uh, acrobatics check, yeah. Acrobatics. What's my modifier for acrobatics? <clears throat> Alright, uh, that is... 21 again. Alright, 21. See, you managed to grab onto it, kind of pull it down. As you see, it slides down several parts of this hill, kind of going a few feet before you. As you kind of see it, it kind of gets a blobby form. These sharp teeth open where the chest, chest the mouth was. It looks hideous. It begins kind of shape-shifting, morphing, kind of into a different variety of objects and creatures. Oh no. Boy, howdy. Oh. This, this just gives me shit was imagining it. I can give you a picture if you like. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dark oh, Souls? Well. No, not Dark Souls. <laughs> just gonna copy that image. I'll post it in I would map. That is what it looks like. Oh, Christ. It has the eyes as well. Yeah. Oh. I would not put my hand in that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm good. Do I perceive anything else on the top of the massive tower? Not there, but you do know something shiny inside the chest. Or inside the mimic, I should say inside as in it's in its mouth yes now which way the is the mimics like the chest opening mimic jaw facing is it facing down into the coins or it is off? facing you i would like to draw my bow and uh, fire right in its mouth all right make a weapon attack Uh, plus dex. Nineteen. Nineteen. So you take it not out quickly and, un and unleash it into this creature. You hear it squeal as it just dies effortlessly. You don't even need to roll damage. What kind of fever dream shit is this? I slide down the gold uh, mountain. You slide down the gold mountain. See. As you hear the sliding of, and clinking of coins almost constantly. It's almost piercing. <laughs> Get all my coins here. Actually, you know, I have a bucket of coins in the back there for sound effects, but I'm not going to go get it. <laughs> uh, I would like to roll perception around me. I make do anything else. Go ahead. Mm. 
24. All right, 24. With that, you do notice there appears to be a door in the side of this wall of this uh, massive cavern that you're in, or massive room that almost goes on endlessly. But you do see there is some door nearby. Okay, I make my way down to the bottom of the gold mountain. All right, so I'll you like may... to inspect the mimic's dead, goneness. All right. So, you inspect the mimic, uh, the body of this mimic, and inside you find what looks like a shiny kind of silver plate, a uh, wooden key hold, like holder. It, like, it has the outline of a key in it. Huh. There's the, there's the lock. There is no lock, so the key must be held. There are runes. Okay, so this out of character. There are runes on the door. Uh, I would like to inspect the wooden key holder for any runes. Uh, there are no runes on this. Hmm. I take the key. Uh, the key holder. Is there anything else I see in the mimic or anywhere else? You do not. Oh, it's good to see you uh, again. Uh, do I see any platinum coins around? You see many platinum coins. Diamond, ruby, like, sapphire, the like finest to gems take, you've ever seen. I would like to take uh, 20 platinum coins. All right. Uh, 20 gold coins. And uh, five diamonds, rubies, and emeralds. All right. So you grab all those up, put them, in, throwing them in your pouch. I'd like to make my way for the door. You make your way for the door. You reach it. I open the door. What do you, I see? You open it, and you see the other side of the mirror. Hmm. I'd like to go through it. Ah, you go through it, ending up on the other side of the mirror. You notice your uh, your pouch is noticeably lighter at when you leave, as if all the coins and gems are gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you do still have that wooden that wooden um, kind of plate that is lined with silver. I think we all have. Uh, I say to everyone else, I think we all have to go through it because I still found something. Something oh, no. on the other side. That's oh, Terry. That the hell you go. Mm, 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 mm. No. Just Harry? Fill, just Harry, what do you see in there? Why are you I there? see a platform and, and, and fireball everywhere. Same as lifetime guidance. But I can definitely tell that it's probably hell. It certainly sounds like that. I. It's I never. <laughs> I walk that. through it. I walk uh, through you it. walk through the mirror. As you walk through the mirror, you land on this a rocky, cr like, craggy platform. You feel the heat this pound into like an oven. It is very hot here. Geysers of the flame, lava kind of erupt all around you. You look behind, the mirror is gone. But however, there are these large craggy spires and a path that leads up to one of them. Oh. Well, I walk up the path to the spire. All right, you walk up the path. You st As you get higher away from the lava, you feel the heat kind of die down a little bit, but it's still incredibly sweltering, like the hottest night on the desert. And at the, at the very top, you spot, you see an orb of flame, a wand, just encased in uh -huh. that orb. Fireball? Is that you? I go over to the orb. You, you go over to the orb, you feel the heat radiating off from it. It's like a mini fireball. Oh, I touch it. You touch it. Uh, yeah, you take. Oh no. You take damage. You take four psychic damage. Oh yay. Okay, okay. 
This is this is this is cool. Um, I look around. You have to rest. See if I see anything else. You look around. Uh, that is all you see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. But you do see, however, there is a wand inside of this. There's a wand inside. Inside that mini fireball. Can I use a uh, Akana to like find out if this is what it is? <laughs> um, you can certainly try. All right, all right, I'm trying. Oh yay! I'm rolling really good today. Mm -hmm. That is a a six. A six, beautiful. Definitely magic. <laughs> Definitely magic. This must be the answer. Or maybe it's not. You're not quite sure. Um, but it's definitely hot, definitely fiery, and magic y. Right. Right. Wait, wait. Does. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's use. Hmm. I want to try and cast the uh, firebolt on it. You ca you cast firebolt. It just kind of absorbs into the big old fireball there, and uh, yeah, nothing really happens as you put more fire into more fire. I I tap into Phil's consciousness. Harry, cast something cold. I don't have anything cold, I don't think. Wait, do I? Do I? You know your spells. I've got... Oh, wait, wait. Chromatic Orb. That's the one that you can choose which... Yep, yeah, I use a uh, Chromatic Orb. Ah, uh, you cast one. chromatic orb, making it cold, and hurl it into this thing, into this object. And it, you see, notice it kind of shrinks down. You see the part of the wand now sticks out. You could probably grab it. I grab the wand. You grab the wand. You now have a wand. Inscribed on it is wand of fireballs. Wand of fireballs. Balls, fireballs. Fireballs. Oh my goodness! This is like a dream come true. Okay, um, I look around. You look around, you see many, many pools of lava and fields of lava are surrounding this uh, crag's spire and platform. Assassin's Creed air jump into it. <laughs> is, there, is there another path up to any of the other? Files? There is not. It was just that one in that platform. Uh, the, the orb is gone. Or is it still there? The orb disappears after you move uh, after you remove the wand. Oh no! Can I see an exit anywhere? Nope. Oh no. Um. Remember what Ada had to do? And jump into a pond. Okay, I I jump into the lava. All right, you Assassin's Creed swan dive into the pool of lava. And you um, end up on your on your face on the other side of the mirror. Boonk. Wand in hand. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, welcome back, just Harry. Thank you. I, I get up. Get up. And show them my wand. So everyone, you I'm see, he shows you this now. wand. He shows you this wand, and you see inscribed upon it is a life is full of disappointment, and a frowny face. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Harry, I think this might be just a normal stick shaped in the shape of a wand. It is, in fact, magic. If you look on the other side, and what you see is Wand of Frowning. I am. This is an actual. Can, can, can I just have a look at that for a moment? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, to detect magic is 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 on the go. Sorry, wand of scowls. I, I spoke incorrectly. 
Wand of what? Wand of scowls. I spoke in Scowls. What, uh... What... What of scowls? What kind of magic is it? It is transmutation magic. Hmm. Uh, Harry, considering you're the one that got the wand, don't use it on a person, but try and use it on the door. If, wait okay. a second. If we, if we use it on a dragon, can we just give him such large depression that he'll just not bother us? <laughs> what? You're expecting the already dead dragon to off himself because he's upset that he's already dead? Are they bold to assume that he's not already depressed that he's dead? We <laughs> give him a little more depression. We give him more depression. So if he's like sad, he will be omega sad. <laughs> this is a somewhat touchy subject, and I both love and hate it. Uh, I love this I feel, one. I feel like... I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, You're not wrong in that sense, but it's wrong. <laughs> we could make him go, why, why try to fight you guys? Why try? Yeah, <laughs> just gonna win anyway. Just I'm already dead. Already anyway. Dead. That's exactly my thought. <laughs> we get we get him to be so depressed that he'll just be like, "Why you fight? I'll just okay. lie here." Well, well, as much as I enjoy your uh, your theory, Yato, it is transmutation, which means it's going to change something into something else. It's not going to make somebody. More depressed. Not to mention, you have to take from something to create something. Hmm. We take you don't his just bones take... to create. First of all, I'm done with that Okay, Harry, just just try it on the door. Just just go and try it on that locked door. Just do an old lady a favor. I go cast. The wand on the door. You go wave your wand, hippity hoppity. You cast your magic on the door, and then nothing <laughs> happens. Uh, you expend a charge of the wand, and you feel like the door is frowning at you. Uh, <laughs> okay, we, we made guys, the door. Guys, the door inside of me now. <laughs> at least I'm giving it the presses. <laughs> Can, can we do the okay. same thing to the dragon so he just <laughs> <laughs> just gives up? <laughs> he just gives up. He us. just, you know, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you've got that really depressed robot played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why bother anyway? <laughs> just gonna get past me. All right, I turn my back and then I turn around with a frown on my face. Oh, oh well, it's you look at the door now. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, I do. Are you feeling okay, buddy? <sighs> this one, it just seems to work wonderfully. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Was two there one any other three. effect aside from a big frowny face? Well, Sorry. let's open that door, shall we? Okay, let's open the door. Can we try the we try the key that we got three of us fished out? Uh, you take the key. There doesn't appear to be any discernible key holes out on the door, Helen. <laughs> Told you. But there is a holder you can put against the door with the key in it. So I put the hole in like, oh, no. the door. Ah, oh, oh, you put the hole on the door over the arcane symbol. There is definitely a key slot on this on this little piece of like cylindrical piece of wood. Put the silver key in. Is this a portable keyhole? Yes. You put the key in. You feel it click in. Which one? The gold one or the silver one? Uh, which one did you put in? Silver I put one. in the silver one. The silver one. The iron one. The iron one, yeah. Silver. Iron, sorry. Iron. Eh, semantics, semantics. Get out of here! 
Yeah, but you can guarantee that when it's all all said and done, the rogue's going to try and sell the silver key. <laughs> I am. I do Well, do, do you turn the key? Uh, well, I, I suppose. attempt to turn whatever the With a great is. effort and thought and, and will of force, you turn the key. And the door opens. The arcane symbol is gone. Huh. The door is now locked. I pull out the key. You pull out the key. You now have a irony, iron silver looking key. Uh, I bag. I put the key in my backpack. You put Fine it in your now. backpack. It definitely is there now. One hundred. Can we? Father. Can we also why, take why the portable the key, bro? Keyhole. Uh, taking the key out, I took the portable keyhole as well. It's in my. It's in my side bag. My active uh, side bag. You feel definitely a little heavier now. These things are in your inventory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't. So what it what's in the what's in the What's the next room next? So you open the door What's in the next okay. next room? As it opens it creaks loudly. You see what looks like a large floating troll skull with a scroll in his mouth, floating about fifteen feet from the ground as this room is about 20, 25 feet, trying to get an accurate estimate. Uh, from there. Quite large, in the very middle you see a black coffin. Wait, what did you say was in the mouth? A scroll. scroll. I cast. I use my wand on the on the thing. Oh, please. Use your wand on the what? On the face. Use your wand on the, on the face. The skull. Uh, you use another charge of the wand, and you feel like the skull, if it had you know muscles to make frowns and smiles, would be frowning. Stop wasting the wand. Did it drop the scroll? Somebody it did not. take the wand from Harry. No, it's mine. Harry, save the last charge for the dragon. I want to okay. see the dragon. Okay. No, we just. We're being killed by a friend Apollo, of the dragon. Apollo, <laughs> just could you please take the wand away? Give it away, Harry. Right. Give it. I put it in my back pocket. If you break it, it won't work right. I've read stories of a wizard who did that once. Kind if of taped it up and everything. It didn't work out well for him. He ended up oh. eating his slugs. What? Gross. He ended up what? What, what now? If eating you play with slugs. it too much, you'll go blind. Oh, <laughs> oh why? it'll be fine. I'm just Harry. I'm Harry. We, we don't trust you with that thing. I don't you watch the door with a sad wand. I would well. like to. Uh, I, I would like to just go up behind Harry and, and take the wand out of his back pocket. <laughs> Put it in my backpack. Make I a flight of escape. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take it out of his back pocket my with my with my arthritic hands. <laughs> I rolled a fifteen. <laughs> can I, can I stop her? Yes, you can. You can roll a um a counter. Uh, I guess a, a, a dexterity save to pull away. Oh no. What'd you Five. get? Five. Uh, you attempt you attempt to pull back, uh, but she already grabbed it. It was too late before you react. And now I would like to skadoosh that wand out of the... Uh, no, um... I don't think so. You're gonna get... You could... I, you can you can get the look and like you already have four out of the five compartments that we need for this. You're not having all of them, young man. <laughs> you can have it feel... back after. When we yes, dear, you can have it back once we finished. Yay! Mm -hmm. I yes. also feel that. Yes, go around. <laughs> oh. If it's around, I also feel that. We should split up the items this so that easier. if anything happens to one of us, it would be easier to get to the items rather than having to dig about in each other's pockets to try and find what we need. I, I agree mm. with uh, Jocelyn on I that. I presume we don't need the silver key and I'm keeping the gold key because I found it. Well, you can keep the gold you, key. You can have, the, the, you can have the plaque. 
Give me the silver key. Apollo. Silver key. Yeah. Apollo, take the plaque. And okay. Ada, if you would take the key, you can keep the gold key, Yato, but it's... And I'm sorry, Harry, but we just don't trust you with wood right now. Dead <laughs> frowning. I reluctantly pass up the silver key. I put it around my neck. Yeah, you do that. So are you guys entering after we finish this dungeon? Can you have the key after we finish the dungeon? Yes. Uh, if we survive, um, I'll consider it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's in? Bam, so... All, these keys. all right. Well, we need to. <clears throat> Can I go? Uh nudge um hyacinth over to the coffin and you know do an arcana check and have uh hyacinth do like a little have a bit of a smell you certainly can but unfortunately as he comes over there you notice that you hear a kind of an astral voice emanating from the uh, emanating from the uh, the, co the coffin as you see a bluish haze rise from it, a specter clad in half plate of, a, of an ethereal nature arises. What? In for more back, he said. Well, that doesn't sound menacing. No, roll what, initiative. What did he say? Time for what more murder. Ask, hey, initial time! In, oh. Yeah. Can I ask in Two. halfling? Hello, what's 21. your name? Well, well. Um, uh, you ask in halfling, he does not respond. All right, he does then. well. I guess I'll roll initiative. You can, it's a safe assumption. He probably doesn't speak, um, probably doesn't speak, um, wherever that language is that you're trying to say. Halfling. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what do you say he looks I'm like? He is a specter, so a man sucks. clad in like kind of yeah, this black yeah, ethereal half plate armor. Look, uh, kind of looks around. You said, probably like trans you said. You said he looked like a certain race. Which race do you say he looked like? Uh, he does not look like a certain race. He's just kind of a human-ish, oh. a humanoid. Okay, I ask in common, what is your name? You're dead. As he begins to come at you. So, uh, um... <clears throat> not really the talkative type. Out, how do we work out initiative? It is, is it dexterity plus your roll? Yep, dexterity plus your roll. I'm keeping track of it all here. I'm using improved initiative. I rolled a 15 total. 15 total, fantastic. Phil? Um, oh yeah, good roll. Uh, 12. 12? All right, Ada? 26. Three, or six, sorry, six. six. And 23. Alright, so the initiative is as a follow art at top of the round, followed by the Spectre, Raygun, Bethany, Phil, and then Shark or Aiden. Those are your initiatives. The top of the round, Art, what do you do? He stands in the middle of the room, standing there, menacingly, ready to attack you, rearing at you. He's, you see him just kind of pull out of nowhere this, this sword. It's safe to assume that poison won't affect him, right? It is quite an assumption. But maybe not the wrong. Okay, I would like to go up to him with my rapier mm -hmm. and sneak attack him. Would that be possible? So, for sneak attack to Brock, you need another ally within five feet. Ah, all right. I would like to, instead of that, scratch that idea. I didn't say that. Uh, that I would like to say what? Him with a short bow. All right, you knock a short bow arrow. Go ahead and roll ten. Oh. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Fifteen, I think it is. Fifteen. So you roll your fifteen. And yeah, unfortunately, you you notice the um the arrow just kind of bounces off his ethereal armor. Anything else on your turn, sir? 
Uh, you have a bonus action and movement to... if you want it. <clears throat> uh, hold on. Do I have anything that would affect the ghost? Uh, no. All right. You just uh, where are you standing? Did you move into the room? You still stay in the hallway? I'm I've moved into the room and I'm standing at the back of the room. Ah, you're standing at the back of the room. Fantastic. Next up, the Spectre. Spectre moves towards you, Aunt, coming out with a ferocious and corporeal movement as he just glides through the air, moving towards you. And he's going to go ahead and make an attack against you with this little, like, ethereal longsword he has. All right, it does. Hey. 15 hits, sir. Uh, against my AC, right? Yes, sir. No, I've got 16. All right, so he attempts to kind of bring this sword down upon you, but unfortunately, you know, you just kind of, well, for, unfortunately for him, you just kind of dodge out of the way. And he stands next to way. you, staring down into your eyes with his kind of blue cyan ethereal eyes. Kadoosh indeed. All right, next up in the initiative is Mr. Regan or Apollo. Okay, so I'm going to start that off with, uh, Using my breath weapon. You have to move up to him, please. Please move up to him. Distract him from me. I'm scared. Uh, which is gonna be... I see someone's taking a fancy to your steel dice. Every week I change my deck. Wait, for, for you, uh, how far away is he? How, he how is does directly run? next door. He's about 15 feet away. Uh, actually, probably say about 10 feet away from you. 10 feet? Okay, cool, perfect. All right, hold on. Let's see. All right, so... I'm use my breath weapon to fire. It needs to make a dexterity throw. 13 or higher to not be damaged. All right, let's see. It rolls. All right, it rolled a 18. All right, then. Then do anything. So it just kind of I... sinks into the ground real quick, incorporeally, and then comes back up after your fire breath. So I then I'm going to use a, uh, a key point. Hmm? So wait, I have another attack, too, so I can do... Uh... We could make him scowl. No! <laughs> you don't even have a staff. <laughs> Dang it. Apollo, if you, uh, if you go up within five feet of him, I can sneak attack him on my, my next turn. Uh, yeah. I have to figure out how to get up there to him. You can walk. Oh, is that what you say? Oh, you do okay. walk up to him? Yeah, oh, sorry. So uh, I have unarmed attack, so. All right. Oh, what did you roll hit? I roll a 10. Does not hit as he just kind of still kind of is, uh, fades through around. A, a ghostly movement of, of dexterity. Okay, then. Well, then I use a, a, a key point to do uh, flurry of blows. All right, do it. Make some more tank. When a multi-attacker class exists. No. I would like to try again. Torbid. I would like to try We're again. not playing the D&D like wiki again. homebrew with multi-attacker class. That thing is stupid. <laughs> I would like to try again. I would like make to try again. Make 40 attacks at level 20. It's insane. Anyway. All right, so 16. 16. As you attempt again, he just moves out of the way. 16 does not hit. Now that's it. All right, very well. Then next up in the initiative is Jocelyn the Warlock. 
I please would like to cast? No, because I don't have it. I know that's the point. <laughs> no, I would like to please cast True Strike on the. I'm a. She goes sit there on higher since. Um, so I'm gonna back up as far as I can. Point my finger um, and mutter some words uh, and in my breath and cast True Strike on the Spectre. Uh, you cast True Strike, giving your next attack on your next turn advantage. Brief. It says it gives you the brief insight into the defenses. So do I know if it's got any... Um, immunities, resistances, blah, 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 blah. What's the AC? So it doesn't quite work armor. like that. That's another spell you're thinking of. Okay. Uh, but this one That's does fine. give you advantage, but you do know it's, you know, it's, it's quite armor, but more so on the top. Perhaps if you hit lower, you'll hit, you'll, you know, you can hit it. So that, that'll give you the advantage. <sighs> All right. Um, cool. Uh, for my bonus action i'm just gonna sh i'm just gonna be like aim for his family jewels boys <laughs> <laughs> all right <Hey. laughs> bonus action hit him, hit him in the, between the legs hit him where it hurts. <laughs> next up just harry oh no firebolt him there yes firebolt all right. the family jewels. <laughs> Go ahead and make your attack. Roll attack. <laughs> Why am I rolling twos? <laughs> I'm uh, going to assume that doesn't hit. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? It's two plus my intelligence, right? Uh, spell, two pa plus your uh, proficiency and spellcasting modifiers, which is your intelligent modifier. Wait, so my roll plus my plus your spell, uh, intelligence? No, your intelligence my modifier, intelligence. and then plus your proficiency. Wait. Wait, what's my proficiency? Plus three, I believe. Yes, that should be. Oh, with that one. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm with, I'm with. So it should so be three plus uh, four, I think? would be nine. So, so nine, that still does not hit. Okay. I feel like you're adding these things up wrong. But uh, nine is better than two. <laughs> I mean, nine is better than two. That is, I mean, that's a plus, that's a plus that seven, is which is about right. If you have a plus four or plus three, yeah, that, that'd be about right. All right, then. Next up is Ada, the druid. Uh, that's a good question. What would you call lightning? Oh, right. Fine. I'm going to go ahead and cast call lightning. All right. So now he needs to make a save for that, correct? Uh, yes. Dexterity save of 14. Alright, let's go ahead and see what he gets. That. Hey, I really need to get a light to shine here so I can actually see these things. That is a 13. So he fails. Oh, uh, so he's Alright, how much damage does he take? 3d10. Yep, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Figuring it out, just a second. No worries. D100. Do you know how a d10? That's it. 
that's 22. 22 points of lightning damage. Yowzers. Nice. Unlimited. Hello. All right. Yeah. So after you do that, uh, after you um, cast your line, you see this bolt of lightning. You strike him down. He tries to dominate, but it's too late. Uh, he definitely looks weakened after that and begins to fade a little bit. That's it? Damn. Ah, uh, yes, that is it. You can use that. You can use that spell again as a bonus action in your next turn. So, oh really? Yeah, check it out. Yep. Um, if you are outdoors, so don't get uh, because it's just one, etc., etc. Uh, but worth it. On each of your turns until the spell ends, you can use your action to call down lightning this way again without using the spell slot. And it's concentration up to ten minutes. Oh. So, top of the round, Art, you're up. Sneak attack. With the rapier. Do it, you do have sneak attack. <laughs> Natural 20. It's a critical hit to go ahead and roll damage. Uh, that's double damage, right? That is double dice. So you're gonna roll 2d8 and 4d. Um, sorry, 6d6. I'm gonna double sneak attack too, because why the heck not? Three. Three. Six damage for my normal attack. Six damage. And one. Four, one, two, four, six. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the total? I wasn't keeping count, so that was. Well, I wasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I was assuming you were, one, so I didn't buy. It was one, two, one, four, six. You rolled five? Uh, alright, I guess man. I'm gonna roll another one then. <laughs> a three. Nice. Spice it up a little. So. That's. One, two, four, seven, one. eleven, seventeen damage. Alright, describe your killing blow. Nice. I. stab him through the armor. Uh, I use this uh, leverage as the rapier is stuck in his armor. I pull myself onto him, take out the rapier, and stab him in the head. Ow, yeah, you do that. As you do that, you see his, uh, he begins to kind of crumple out himself and fade as if there's a vacuum inside him. I need both anyone who is within five feet of him to make a dexterity saving throw. Good job on proficient in dexterity. Mm -hmm. Dexterity saving throw, you said? Dexterity 18. saving throw. If you're within five feet of him? Yeah. Okay. I'll do. All right. Or take 14 points of, <coughs> of a bludgeoning damage. Well, actually, technically, it would be four. It would be four. 14 points of necrotic damage. Pass? If you if you fail, if you fail, the DC is 14. Oh, I failed. Uh, you take 14 points of necrotic damage, sir. And did you oh, pass, no. sir? Right. I passed. I got 18. You passed. Uh, you take half as much. So that was half of 14. Seven. Seven. Yeah, rounding down. Always rounding down. So that, so with that, disappears. Poof. Gone. Reduced to atom. What lies hey. in this room now is nothing but a black coffin and a troll skull floating above with a scroll Thanks, in its mouth. Man. Can I have a look in the coffin? Yeah, if you open the coffin, what you see inside is remnants of a, a looks like maybe a man, maybe a human or another creature. Definitely humanoid. Also, kind of wear, wearing this black, this kind of black, sad, sorry, not black, matte black, half plate armor. Dracula? How heavy is half plate armor again? Now, Pretty heavy. 50, 40 pounds, if I remember correctly. Something along those lines. Oh, I have it up there. And it weighs 40 up. pounds, yes. <clears throat> I don't have proficiency in it. It is, in um, fact, medium armor. Oh, I could take it. It's also metal. So you can't wear it. Apollo, can you wear medium armor? Can I? Can you wear it? Um, what class are you? 
You're a monk, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, you can't wear it either. You uh, you all technically can wear it, but you just get the the downsides are gonna outweigh the up the benefits. No, I'll say. Yeah. However, you also uh, uh, the warlock. You do notice it definitely does appear to be magic. Well, oh. actually, uh, Ada could. She does have light armor, medium armor, and shields. Yeah, but unfortunately, dru druids um, can't wear druids metal armor. Metal. They're not allergic to it. They can still <laughs> use it and they can still wear it, but it interferes with their spell casting. So if you tried to cast any spells, they probably wouldn't work. Learn something new every day. Yeah, sorry about that. I mean, are you, are you willing to put on armor out of the coffin? Anyways, no. Probably not the best of idea, so. Hello. If you're playing Rim World, you get a negative three move up. It is, it is magical armor. How about we take it and we sell it later? How about we, we take it just oh, yeah. in case we need it? <laughs> If someone's unconscious, just apply the armor to them so they just have a higher AC. Can I, uh, is there a way of, like, it's, wait, so it's magic armor, right? Mm hmm Which means that it will mold perfectly to anybody that puts the armor on. Mm hmm Right? Correct. Can I try, can I put it on Hyacinth? It's not barring. Ah. <sighs> It's, it's only half, like, well, yes, it will mold perfectly to a person wearing it, but the key word there is person. It's like can trying I to put, put a like round arm, peg in a square I, hole, or a square can peg I in a round hole. Arm, arm braces or something on her on a, on a legs. Good. It, it won't give them the, the full advantage of the magic, but, you know, it'll look pretty. Okay, and it definitely protect his legs, so that's good. So if there's any rats trying to eat the legs. Ah, she'd kill it. It'd be fine. Blah, blah, blah. All right, well. The thieves can't. Uh, Jimmy the walking thieves. down the road, please. He's going down there. Go cool, thieves can. All right. Anything else you all want to do in this room? Uh, Can I have a look at the scroll? scroll? All right, it's 15 feet above the ground, floating. Mockingly. Hey, can if someone can throw I, me up there, I have I can spider just climb. Run onto it. Oh, that works too. You could uh, theoretically, you could climb to climb to the ceiling. It's only about uh, five, ten feet away from the ceiling, kind of a floating in the middle of the room. You could drop down and grab it. Can I actually? Can I? Can I do that then? I would yeah. like to do that. You can absolutely do that. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. You may take some fall damage, but you may not. We'll see what happens. What, what am I feet, I it's all right. So if you just cast a spell spider climb, you don't you just gain climb speed. And you just kinda of stick to it like Spider Man, just So is you, that what you're gonna you do? Start mood walking up yeah, I'm gonna way. I'm gonna spider climb. Uh, you spider climb up your way. You get you reach the ceiling right above it. It's it's hanging about, you can tell it's maybe about five feet. Uh, five feet um technically above you because you're upside down. Okay, feet, yes, uh, five feet. If you are five feet tall, you can grab it. If you're a little shorter, you might have to, uh, you might have to uh, fall on it. I'm, I think I'm tall. I should be tall enough. I'm like as tall as a human, I think. Yeah, but you can, but, you can feasibly reach it. Okay. Then Good. I reach it and grab it. You grab it and you um, yoink the scroll out of the troll's mouth. Yoink. Yoink, you, you don't have a scroll. Me. Yoink. And then can I spider climb back to the floor? Absolutely. You know, continue my climb back to the floor. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't disconcerting to watch at all. How's your head? Do you, do you, from the being upside down? Oh, I'm I'm used to that. That's I'm a cat. I'm you're, a cat, you're... yeah. Well, yes, but, but cats also now. don't don't usually climb up a wall upside down. <laughs> Oh, I, I I learned this. I learned this years ago. It's it's just an equi equilibrium thing. You, you you get used to it. I uh, I see. Oh, okay. Well. Can I go ahead and inspect the scroll now? 
Yeah, so you go ahead and you open up the scroll. You re you look at it and read it. Um, it will take you can uh, make an arcana check to see if you can determine what it is. Eleven. Eleven. You're not quite sure. It's definitely some form of arcane magic, though. Perhaps maybe the warlock will have better luck. Yeah, hey, uh, Jocelyn, could you take a look at this? Oh yes, oh, of course. Uh, and the arcana. Arcana. Is the scroll magical? It certainly is. But it'll determine okay. what spell it is. Oh yeah, but I had to detect magic as well. Uh, oh, it's, oh yeah, definitely magic. And yeah, you detect yeah. magic coming from the armor. I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm, I'm probably distracted. I didn't hear you were doing technology. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, yeah, 20, 23. 23. Um, you can you recognize the scroll? It's a scroll of blight, a fourth level spell, quite potent. Oh, very very good at, at removing weeds from your garden as well. <laughs> oh my Brilliant. Uh, this is use. <laughs> I hope there are going to be weeds later on. Maybe you'll have to find my... out. Can I record uh, well... it with the spell book? Uh, yes, you are a wizard. You can. However, you you can't cast it. It, it, it will destroy the book. Oh, I can't cast the And scroll. you also can't cast fourth level spells yet. So. <laughs> it will. Wait, would that destroy the book? No, it will destroy the scroll. Your book, your spell book, will be fine. Your Probably. book will be fine, but you can't okay. cast fourth level spells yet. But in copying down the spell into your book from the scroll, it will destroy the scroll. What? Yep, that's how it works. Yep. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Anyone cast it? You can, you cast it by using up the scroll. So when you cast it, it will use the scroll and it will destroy it. Yeah, you essentially eat it. I'm, I'm saying, but is anyone able to cast it if they don't copy down in their spell book? Uh, no, because it's fourth level. So none of us can cast it unless we roll an arcana check that is high enough when we go to actually cast it, because I can only cast third level spells and so can Harry. What if I, I record it? Can I cast it from the book? No, because you can't cast fourth level spells yet. Can I just yep. hold on to the scroll till we need it? It's not yep. going anywhere. Well, you know what it is now. It's a, it's a scroll of, of light. There you go, have it back. Alright, I'm gonna just toss it in my bag then. Ah, uh, you now have a scroll of light. Let's hope you don't need it. Alright. So next, there is a door lot that lies north to this room. Uh, let's keep going. I say let's move on. All right, you begin to move on. Much like Pat in your past relationships, uh, you've moved on from this room. Uh, you go you go on, you open the door, you see it kind of uh, immediately goes off to the left, lead to another hallway. When you look down that hallway, you just see an endless corridor of doors on both sides, left and right, just going as far as you can see, with no end in sight. But that is where we're uh, going to have to end this week, and we will pick it up next week. Uh, <laughs> no, no. We've effectively yeah. made our way back to the start, pretty much. Welcome, yes, yeah. yes. Or have you? Was, uh, that is no. the question. Uh, I'm sorry, I gotta leave you on a cliffhanger. It's how I can get your back every week. <laughs> hey, you know, I gotta oh. have my play. But hopefully you all Gosh, enjoyed this session. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh, fun. Uh, yeah, we're almost. You're almost done with the floor now. You only have a couple more rooms, and then you know you can move on to the next one. Should be exciting. Uh, but folks, if you're interested, if you enjoy watching this, uh, this is, we have the D and D game every Saturday. Where folks, necromancers make friends forever. True man, true right there. <laughs> yeah, so we have D&D &D every Saturday at about around five, usually around five o'clock Eastern Standard. Sometimes we, get, we start a little bit later, depending on once we can get everyone together. We're all busy adults. But yeah, but if you like that kind of thing, hit us, uh, hit, hit, wow, cannot do English. Hit that follow button because we are, we stream this every week. And if you want more content just like, like this for D&D &D and other things as well, continue following. Also hop in our Discord, we're always doing fun things there. So, but that's been it for today. We're going to go ahead and wrap up here. So any uh, parting words, folks? Thank you. 
for your amazing DMing. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. You're yeah. glad you enjoyed I'm, it. I liked the mirror thing. That was really cool. I, yeah, You're gonna have go to back steal the <laughs> Hey, the mirror. You can, have, you can have a lot of fun with mirrors. Just I'm take right. mundane things and make them unmundane, and ba bing ba boom, what you got? Uh, but we're gonna wrap up here. I will see you all tomorrow. Nice, well, not bright and early, uh, about 11:30 Eastern Standard for some VR chat. I would, but it's getting late for half the players here, so I don't want to keep them up past 12:30 like it already is, except for Phil, where it's 1:30 in the morning. So thank you all for bearing with us in the late time. Damn it, Phil. <laughs> but we are gonna go ahead and pop a raid over to my buddy Patches. So, thank you for being here. Neon, thanks for hanging out with us. Tal, good to see you again. Raider, everyone else, all that fun stuff. You want me more? You want me to keep streaming? Is that what it is? I just finished D&D. &D. Hey, sounds good, dude. Uh, let me know if you want. I, I told the Asin to extend the invite to you. So, we're going to be playing tomorrow. Uh, but, be, yeah, please make sure you're there by 1130. Because uh, we're going to be starting Worlds. And you can't, uh, the Worlds, uh, late joiners aren't really going to be able to join. So... Please be punctual and we'll get started. So we're gonna take this uh, all the love over to my buddy Patches who is currently streaming right now. So stick around for that. You're gonna get some free channel points for that and have a grand old time. So thank you all for being here and I will see you, Space Cowboy. I'll see you the next time. Take care and bye bye. So we... Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Oh wait, I mean bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I click it.